Welcome to Red TV's Interiors by Design, where the search for Nigeria's first interior design star begins. With hundreds of hopefuls at the auditions, do these participants have what it takes? Hello everyone, good morning. Um, my name is Akiola and I'll be your host for the duration of this program. I would like to officially welcome you to the reality TV show, Interior by Design. Okay, you relax. Ah, yes, let's meet our judges. Titi Fawora. She is the glamorous lead interior designer with Inu Designs Limited and the principal host and mentor of the Interiors by Design. A veteran in the industry and one of the pioneers of the design practitioner renaissance currently emerging across Africa. She brings over a decade of experience with commissions across the globe. As a practicing interior designer in Nigeria, I found that there has been drought of talent and skill in the interior design industry. We deemed it necessary to come up with a show that would help us harness the talent that exists and provide them with a platform to take them to the next level. Vibrant and high-spirited Osaru Alile. This is the first interior design show that's been done in Nigeria. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that we get a lot of nice people who are excited about the profession of interior design. Special guest judges including London-based designer Yinka Ilori. There isn't a lot of interior designers in, in Nigeria. Um, and I think hopefully it will change in the next few years. Creative Omo Anine Modi. I think the actual board is a little bit more interesting than the presentation. Elegant Karen Kashoni. Accessories are the key to any space. Stylish Andrezini. It's about, you know, measurement and precision before you cut your fabric off. Kitchen expert Kunle Dina. I mean, I've got loads of surprises if you want to see some more. more. Industry finest Patrick Kashoni. The first thing is, um, You've got to realize that the client is the one paying. Ambitious Tracy Nwakpa. Did you just write that down? No. 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 There. I can see it. And visionary behind Deco and Rainbow Creative Agency in UK and Nigeria, Michael Banjo. Okay, tell us a bit about yourself. Okay, I'm an interior designer. Okay. I'm a student. Combination based student. Essay, yes. Yes, essay. Um, first, I'm an architect. But Apparently, I've done a bit of interior design. I'm an interior designer. I like when you say that already. It's confident. <laughs> some appeared ready for the ultimate prize. That's um, some of my interiors. And I did some of the furniture. I made them later on. So all these 3Ds, did you create them yourself? Yes. What software did you use? Sweet Home 3D. The presentation's good from what I can see already. At least seems very together. Others definitely were in the wrong room. So what's your inspiration when you're creating um, space? Space, most times. Space. The space is your inspiration. You've just taken pictures of your, your, your stuff, kitchen, kitchen extract. Yeah, yeah with, and you're in all the pictures, <laughs> you know. I think maybe you don't understand what interior design as a whole is. Yes, I understand yeah. this is one tiny little midget element of interior design. There were certain contestants that were tested on the spot for additional clarity. This is uh, the wall and this is your bed. Okay. You've already got the bed up there, right? This is the... That's the floor plan, yeah. yeah. This is floor what, what is that? Is that an elevation, a section, um, a three-point perspective, an axle? It's, 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 um, it's a 2D two, two two drawing. Okay, that's the floor plan. But yeah, what's the, the second plan. one? The this second is one. elevation and this is your bed. Okay, Johnson. I'm not Let's actually just... done. No problem. I, I, I think, yeah, we are. Um... Well, I'm still a bit disappointed in you because yeah. um, you've come here today, yeah. you know, to us about your profession. You've got no, no visuals. If I was a client and I said to you, present me your, you know, the project, and you said, oh, hey, sorry, I've got my phone, I'm not going to hire you because you, you haven't got, you haven't delivered. Sorry, the people going through to the next stage in the competition are... In the end, 14 contestants were chosen to set sail. After taking the best 14 of the crop, they were given VIP celebrity treatment with fashion, beauty and style makeovers. Looking good, guys. 
the glitz, the glamour, breathtaking pieces. I know you will like that. And invaluable key lessons learned, proving their skills through a journey filled with twists and turns. A little bird told me about some friction that has been that has been going on amongst a couple of contestants. I'm not going to name names. I heard there was a certain push within a certain a certain young lady, small shaped young lady. If you know anything about that. <laughs> Oluchi seems unhappy. I'm not smiling. I was not happy with the judgment, so it was as if I put more of the effort and my teammate was dragging, dragging me down. When you are putting two sheep to feed from the same pot, you know, there will be a confusion. I knew he was quite an, he's an, he's an elderly man though, but his idea was kind of mean. The two people who drew two lines. Unlike everybody else, I picked just one thing. Now I'm just trying to be teacher's pet, no, no, but it's no. okay. Every task, from the stylish ambiance at the Angelica store to a tactful poof challenge at Andrezini's, a tidal ride to the color challenge at Pop Beach. And yes, a dramatic task as they went back to their roots in the countryside of Epe, Lagos. Some were capable. You're the winners of the challenge, and what you get is immunity from the next challenge. So that doesn't mean you're not going to do well, but it just means you can't be eliminated. For others, it was back to the drawing board. Zainab. Um, you're going to have to go back to the drawing board. Um, the irony of it was the lady that won was in the bottom in the last challenge and the lady that lost was in the top. An insightful journey filled with world-class designs, inspiration and creativity. two are set to design a glamorous space for one of Africa's biggest stars. Hmm, who are the last two standing? And which one wins the design course at the prestigious Decor and Rainbow Design Academy in London? Fasten your seatbelts as we take you on a ride on Interiors by Design Season 1. <laughs>